Yo, what is up guys? Joker here bringing you another video. This time we're going to be going over the brand new MOBA BR Hero Shooter, Super Vive. I know that sounds like a lot and that's kind of because it is. I'll have gameplay going on in the background while I describe it, but the point of this video is to pretty much just draw attention to it since it's nowhere really near its official release. It is only the demo. Uh, right now the official release is queued up for uh, Q4 of 2024, but during Next Fest from October 14th through October 21st, there's going to be uh, unlimited playtime in this game. And I have to tell you, this is actually surprisingly fun and entertaining. It's like if you took League of Legends and Fortnite and you smashed them together, uh, this is kind of what you would get. Sprinkle in some elements of some other games and yeah uh, as of right now I have about eight hours of play time in Super Vive so not a super ton but I only found it earlier today and then I'm making this video so pretty much the last eight hours I have been playing this game should kind of showcase how uh, addicting it is right the core gameplay loop of Super Vive has you uh, queue into a four-man team or a duo and you're dropped into a battle royale map where there's a couple of modifiers that it rotates between, changing up the gameplay somewhat. Sometimes it's like you start with an ultimate uh, item. Sometimes you have unlimited flying, right? So you're able to move around the map that much fire. Uh, I'm sorry, that much fast. Uh, sometimes there's like additional ele uh, elemental, not elemental, uh, environmental, that's the word I was looking for, effects that will either help or hinder you. And the map itself is pretty big in my opinion, right? You drop into these four man pods and then you go and you farm mobs throughout the map to gain levels. That way you can level up your abilities. And then upon killing mobs, you're going to be getting items and upgrading your skills and item set. It works really interesting because you start with like a primary set of gray items, but then as you level up and as you kill stuff, you get the these uh, gear points is essentially what I'm going to call them. They have little icons. It's going to be like a pair of boots, a pair of gloves, or just a fist with an arrow pointed up. And these are going to be the upgrades to your items. And then there's a whole bunch of different, uh, I guess, build types, right? Uh, you have, I want to say, five items initially. And each item has like three items that it can upgrade to. There's like your generic tank items. There's your DPS items. And then there's like your mixture items, right? Stuff like that. As well as for the classes themselves, you have your tanks, you have your supports, and you have your DPS. All in the... Um, all in the squad it, it's it's a really hard game to try to describe but the main point of this video is to bring attention to it as well as bring attention to steam next fest which in case you're unaware uh steam next fest is an annual event held by steam where a bunch of devs get to go ahead and showcase their games showcase what they've been working on to try to get like a wish list and hype built around their projects right and this is how i usually find a lot of games as well uh, and honestly it's usually a lot of indie devs so there's a lot of sleeper games that i have high hopes for um and supervive is honestly one of it uh if it stays on its current trajectory i feel like it is fun enough that it could be a mainstream BR because of the randomness as well as the four-man squads and the MOBA aspect of the BR. Just kind of everything, how it meshes together so far is going in a really good direction, which really could change um, because it's stated to come out in quarter four of 2024. So we still have like some time for it to be released. The devs have stated they're going to continue to work on and update the game. Um, so a lot of stuff 
could still potentially change. But as of right now, I believe it's a fun game. I'm going to have it linked down in the description. Uh, just super short video going over that, bringing some attention to it. Go check out Steam Next Fest. It's going to be going on until October 21st, and you're probably going to find a shit ton of games that you're hype about. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Short video. All I wanted to go over. Probably rambly and all over the place. But hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. Up next, we have a... Uh, there's a... Da -da 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 -da. What is it called? Hold on. Let me get the name. Terrace Land. That's the name. Terrace Land is supposed to be coming out on October 22nd. And that's going to be the next game that I play. That is supposed to be some kind of MMO. It says it's like Throne and Liberty and Path of Exile somehow. So I guess another open world ARPG. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and check it out. On top of the fact that the winter scenario for Once Human is also coming out. On top of the fact that something comes out on the 24th. What comes out on the 24th? Oh, God. Now I have to look out. Oh, uh, Torchlight. Torchlight Infinite comes out on the 24th of October. So I have a bunch of games that I'm still planning on playing until then. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to end this video. I don't want it to be any longer. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.